Okay. I had to try a different angle today because the old one was driving me absolutely mental. And I also apologize for the wet hair. I just got out of the shower and I'm wearing like a nightgown thing. But I don't even care. Because guys, I swear I'm like going fucking insane or something. It's like... All the words that I had just sound so stupid now in my head, but I'm going to try to say something. Every day is just so ridiculously difficult, like, work especially. Today was a little better as work goes, like, I only spent about three-fifths of it. And it was five hours, I only spent, you know, an hour or two of my shift hating everything, feeling like I had this big gaping wound in my chest that ached so badly and that I was sure everybody could see it or would see it if they just spoke the right words to me and like, I don't know, I've been, I've been irritable and like depressed, but more than that, it's like, I feel like everybody hates me because it's like one thing will happen like for example a guy at work was like do you want to come help me paint my brother's house or something like that and I was gonna go but I'd already promised this other friend that I might go to Westside Charlie's and I was thinking that I had wanted to go to that but then at the last minute I kind of changed my mind and so this guy who I'd almost said yes to, and this was the first time he'd ever asked me to do anything like outside of work. So I basically said at the last minute, like, I'm really sorry, but I kind of have to go to Westside Charlie's because I kind of already told her that I might go, and now I'm going to go. And he was like, oh. So it's not like he's he's making a big deal out of this or anything. Like, he's not getting like upset about it he's not angry about it it's just that he keeps referring to it and it's like it's almost like he thinks it's some sort of running joke only it's more like a running I remember this but it's like there's not any really big emotional issues attached to it or anything but every time he brings it up I just feel so horribly like guilty like he hates me like he's going to hate me if I don't have exactly the right reactions to it and it's like every moment of every day it's like one wrong move and I'm suddenly going to be tossed into a bed of hot coals and burned alive or something that's what it feels like so it's like coming into work is excruciating and this other girl I don't know told the same guy at work that you know there's supervisor positions open, okay? And so she said to this other guy, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Carolyn tries for it because she's really bossy or something like that. And I mean, it's stupid because I've had a supervisor, like, tell me I say sorry too often. I'm like, well, Jesus, you know, passive or aggressive, which is it? Come on. But, you know, I had to work with this girl today and I was like, oh, God, she hates me. Like... It's like people say this one stupid thing about me that isn't even indicative of them hating me and I still think that they really hate me. Or like I do one wrong thing and it's going to contribute to this little storage file they've got in their heads of things Carolyn has done wrong which they're going to like tabulate against me and eventually it's all going to like build and build and they're going to hate me. And so it's like, I keep thinking about all this shit, and so when I go to work, it's like, all I do is, is I feel like I'm, I'm just constantly, like, in this pain, and there's no other words I can use to describe it, because I can't even get more specific than that. It just hurts emotionally. I mean, obviously not physically. Nobody's, like, abusing me physically or anything, like, no. But it's like this, this mental and emotional torture. And then, of course, there's a the whole eating issue. Like, I've been trying to do better with it. And I don't think I've been, like, bingy quite as often. But that being said, it's like, I can eat sort of reasonably. Sometimes I don't even eat reasonably. Sometimes I still eat shit. 
but it's like sometimes I eat sort of reasonably and then other times I'm just like I can't do this and I, I just go and I just eat and eat and eat and sometimes mostly purge and it's like God how the fuck is this ever going to get fixed like it's like I, I sort of know what I have to do but then I sort of don't and if I make one mistake it's like everything is gone out the window I realize that everything I'm saying here is total complete black and white thinking but that doesn't make it any easier to get out of I mean Jesus if I could just get out of it by knowing what the fuck it was I'd never have an emotional problem because I know what a lot of it is but you know, I used to say to my old therapist that I had this mental and emotional disconnect. Like, logically, I'd know something, but emotionally, it'd be something totally different, and the two would never mesh, you know? It's like there's this mental life, and there's this emotional life, and they just don't connect. Because if I logically know something, and yet my emotions go haywire over that same something, and I know better, like, there's something fucked up about that. But I don't know how to fix it. But nobody seems to regard it as this great big deal either, unless I'm friggin' landing myself in hospital over and over again. And even then, people don't know what the problem is, and they don't know how to help me. Or I go to these therapists who do this cognitive behavioral stupid shit, where they're like, change your behaviors and you'll feel 100% better. It's like, no, I won't. Because even when I change disordered behaviors, I still overreact to all this bullshit. I still feel terrible about random events that happen that most people would just know how to deal with that for some reason my brain twists and distorts and won't let me ever forget or feel better about for like hours or days. And when I do finally start to feel better, something else happens. And it's like this constant emotional roller coaster. And I mean, I know this is like a borderline symptom or something, and like, I, I've been told I have borderline characteristics, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. Like, when I was self-injuring and stuff, I suppose I can sort of see how that would work, but I don't even do that anymore, you know? It's like, the eating disorder is sort of my self-injury. And I know that bulimia falls within that realm of impulsive behaviors, which before I never used to feel. So it's like, instead of self-injury now, I suddenly feel this other criteria for impulsive shit. And I'm like, I feel like everything I do is classifiable under some sort of DSM category, or would be if it was bad enough. And I don't like being categorized, but it's like being categorized is the only way anyone will ever fucking pay any attention to how horrible you're feeling. Or do anything about it, or give a shit about doing anything about it, and I don't know, I feel like I sound like the biggest attention whore of life right now, and that's not really what it is. I mean, the only reason I want attention is to feel fucking better, and I'm not even like doing any of this to get attention, it's just happening, you know. this sort of shit would just stop happening to me, I wouldn't need any of the other shit in the first place. The eating disorder, I wouldn't need, I wouldn't have needed self-injury, I wouldn't need any of it, you know? It's this little emotional roller coaster that always comes back when I'm not doing anything horribly disordered to cancel it all out, you know? Because when I was restricting or whatever, it didn't matter if anybody was mad at me didn't matter if people hated me because I wasn't connected to people. But when I connect to people, it's like all this pain just starts up again. I don't know what the fuck to do about it. So, what do you do? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I just needed to get that out. I know this video is horrifically long, so... I just, I don't know. I feel like complete and utter crap lately, and I don't know how to fix it. And that's all I can really say.